Well, welcome back for another Mixed Media Basics. Um, today, I'm going to review some of the Fluid Matte Medium. So I am going to review the Liquitex Basics um, Acrylic Matte Medium in the Fluid. Uh, this is what I currently use and have used for quite a while, but I thought, you know, I've never tried any of the others. Why don't we, and I see a lot of people use the Golden um, Fluid Matte Medium. It is only a low gloss though, and so I don't know if I'm gonna like the sheen to it, but man, it looks like velvet going onto the paper, and it seems to hold heavier things than this is able to with this. I have been happy with it for tissue paper, deli paper, and like book paper, but anything heavier than book paper, it doesn't do very well with. Um, so I'm happy to try out the Golden Fluid Matte Medium, um, which is available in larger bottles than just the eight ounce. This uh, Basics is only available in the 8.45 ounce. And then I was also curious uh, because Liquitex has a professional um, acrylic medium in a fluid that is an ultra matte. And, you know, I like my matte, so I thought, ooh, let's check it out. So that's going up against it too. And this is, the Liquitex is, um, in the ultra matte is also available in larger sizes. So I will talk about each of those as we go through. And my thought was, I thought, we'll put some of each down with different types of paper. So I thought we'd start with some tissue paper and this Liquitex Basics. So it is already pulled. And before I pull out new tissue paper, let's see if I have any. It's very fluid. Sometimes I have troubles with it when I um, scrunch it up. Like I kind of need to like apply it. Yeah. It's, uh, sometimes I feel like I need to apply it to all of it and then I'll come back in and scrunch it up. Cause this is what I usually use. Save some of that. Deli paper is a little bit heavier than tissue paper but it's still in that same realm. Yeah, it's kind of, it's non-porous kind of, it's more of a non-porous type of paper, the deli paper. And that's where I find I start to have issues with this. So we'll see. So I'm moderately happy with that. All right. Okay. So then the golden. It just looks so luscious. Okay. this a try. I don't feel like I can pour it. I might, it might work better if you put it into a, a squeeze bottle, but this does come, it, it goes all the way up to a gallon size jug. So that is good. And the description on the golden, um, let's 
this tissue paper is a, a little slick. I've not seen any pattern tissue paper that's this slick. Be interested to see how this dries. It does it did soak into that though once I put a lot on there. Um so the description on the golden says use golden matte medium fluid extended to extend acrylic paints while promoting even flow and leveling and maintaining the film stability. This 100% acrylic polymer liquid medium also decreases gloss and increases translucency, which we did definitely see on that. I like the thought that it will increase translucency. Let's see how it is on regular just tissue paper. And I even crinkled this up and I feel like if you kind of get it pretty thick, it just really soaks in. Let's see about the deli paper. Oh, that stuck nicely. Oh yeah, that went nice. I guess just, it's really thicker actually. Um, it is very silky. This is what I notice when I watch other people's videos and they use the golden fluid matte medium. I look at it and I think, oh my gosh, it's so silky. And that's really how it looks and feels. It's smooth. This almost feels, um, what's the word? It just is thin. It, you can't, it doesn't even feel, you can't even feel it. But this feels like there's a, a glide to it. That's the word I'm looking for. It has a glide to it. Um, so on the basics, it only comes in this 8.45 fluid ounce. And at the time of this filming, it was $7.11 for this bottle, which is 83 cents an ounce. So not bad at that small of a fluid ounce, but it does say it's supposed to improve the flow of acrylic paint. So when you add it to um, paint, it's supposed to improve that. And I have used this to um, make, um, sometimes I'll add fluid uh, matte medium to make some of my, um, like my, well, my bead gel, I don't, I usually use more of a gel for that. Um, but for my sand paste and stuff, sometimes I'll use this to create that and also my paper paste that I use, that my homemade brand. And I will link uh, up, up here the, the those videos on how to make your own um, glass bead gel, how to make your own um, paper paste, and how to make your own sand paste. Um, let's see. But it will uh, increase the flow without affecting paint stability. So in, in essence, you should be able to mix this with acrylic paint and create almost a fluid and not affect the stability. Um, it maintains, uh, it, it will, it can be used to extend opaque colors to double the amount without changing the opacity. So you can add it to an opaque color where is you every time you add water to an opaque color it thins out the opacity so this won't do that so that's the basic description under the basics so and that is definitely as it's drying and it dries pretty fast it's very matte very matte it's not totally dry though all right, and then the golden fluid medium comes in an eight ounce jar, but it goes all the way up to a gallon. So it comes eight, 16, 32, and a gallon jug. And for the eight ounce bottle, 
um, at the time of this filming, it was $12.73, which is $1.59 an ounce. But if you buy a gallon, because I use a lot, I'm thinking about starting to buy the gallon jug. It's $76.85, and that is, averages out to $0.60 cents an ounce. But I want to see how glossy it is, so we need to wait for this to dry. Um, I am very curious though about this because this is the ultra matte and the description on it is it's an extender it can be a fixative it can increase the flow without affecting stability um, it also will maintain opacity and that's about all the description has on it so let's see how, oh, look at that. That's much, um, a, a lot less transparent and much more opa uh, opaque, but I'm sure true to them, it will end up being just like a gel and being dry and clear. But I'm excited to see how matte this really is. So it does really well with tissue paper, a little bit, but this is, this is um, gift wrapping kind of tissue paper and it has a tendency to bleed anyways. Oh yeah, I got a squirt bottle on this. And this is an um, eight ounce bottle. Goes all the way up to a gallon, but it comes into a, a bucket. At so it comes 8, 16, and 32 or a gallon. So the 8 ounce is 1270 at the time of this filming, which is also $1.59 an ounce. But if you get a gallon bucket, it's $67.49. You'd have to pour it, like take something and scoop it out and pour it into something like this to use it. Um, because it comes in a bucket rather than a gallon jug but it's 53 cents an ounce. That's a deal at a gallon. So I'm gonna put a little down. Oh, wow, it's really sticky. It's a lot thicker than the golden, but yet still feels fluid. I'm curious, let me go find. This is a regular tissue paper. It, it's much more porous than this was. Wow, that is much stickier, it's thicker but it's still a fluid. Okay, let me find another piece of deli paper because I think that would be good. There's a little piece. Doesn't take much on this. Because it's, uh, so thick and it seems to go far. A little goes a long way. All right, and we'll let that dry. Okay, so next I wanted to test out some, just some book text. So I have a couple pieces of book text here. And let me get my brush cleaned off. Or just grab another brush. All right, so we're gonna, on this one, we're gonna use the basics. And 
these older vintage papers, they absorb, I feel like they absorb the um, matte mediums really quickly. At least that's my experience with the Liquitex Basics. It seems like it just absorbs a lot and like dries really fast. And this is even older than that was. Let's give that a try. Yeah, performs pretty well. It does need to be pretty wet to, to get stuff stuck down. I do have, have a little bit of buckling because I didn't feel like I had enough under there. Not yet dry, but it is pretty matte. I mean, there's a little bit of a sheen, but I, I wonder how much of that is because it is um, not dry. So now we're gonna use the golden. It's, um, like the, the Liquitex Basics, it's very translucent. It is so smooth. It really is. Oh yeah, see, it's just, it, it's so smooth. I can see why people love it. I feel like a little bit of this goes a long way in comparison to the basics. All right, I'll be interested. That's gonna be hard to pour. Something that I like to think about is how the bot it comes in the bottle. Like this is gonna be hard to pour into an opening like this. It can be done. It's just, you gotta be really you know, these are things I think about. So. And this is the Ultra Matte by Liquitex. A lot thicker. A lot more opaque initially. I feel like a little bit goes a very a long way. Let's see if I can do this one without adding any more. Almost. It's definitely not as smooth as the golden, but a little bit goes a long way. And I just feel like even at, I don't know, we'll have to wait and see how that turns out. All right, so the next one I'm gonna do is a more of a cardstock weight paper. It's a heavier paper. Um, Yeah, definitely a heavier paper. Now my experience with Liquitex Basics is that it won't hold this paper. I always go to TCW's um, matte gel medium to do anything of this weight or greater. So we'll see how this does. Yeah. 
it definitely is picking up on the corners here. You have to really soak it to get it to stay down. And this isn't even that heavy of a cardstock. I've seen heavier cardstocks and I'm having some buckling going on. So I've had to soak it and it's a printed page, so yeah. Okay, we'll see how that goes. And then we'll do the golden. Yeah, that, I think, even the bigger piece, that totally went down. No issues there. I mean, I don't even, no buckling up. So that did a much better job on the cardstock than the basics did, and yet it's still smooth and luscious and lovely. So now, let's try the Ultra Matte by Liquitex. Oops, I think I got way too much there because this stuff a little goes a long way, it seems like. Let's see how well this does. Yeah, this even did better than the basics. It handled this cardstock really well, actually. I didn't get enough up here, though. Definitely. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do is I am going to let these dry, and then we'll come back in a little bit and take a look at the sheen on them. And if anything is popping up or um, not sufficiently attached. And we'll go from there. All right, so let's go through these now that everything has dried up. This is the Liquitex Basics. It does take quite a bit um, to adhere stuff, but it's definitely matte and I have no lift off on the tissue paper. So that is good. Um, the book paper, I have no lift off, definitely matte. And the cardstock, um, I did have lift off on that. As you can see here, I had a whole bunch tear off. And I'm sorry you didn't, I didn't get that on film, but my camera died on me right in the middle of that. So, but I did have, and there was, um, the medium was down here. You can feel it underneath the paper. So it just lifted. There's also some buckling right here that you can't really see. There's a little bit of a sheen coming through on that paper because that paper is pretty glossy. You can see that sheen. You can see some of it still on here. So it doesn't mat it out and it doesn't come in any bigger of a bottle. So at 83 cents, I don't think this is cost effective. And this is one of the reasons why I was gonna evaluate it because I go through a lot of this and this is what I've been buying. So I think that needs to change. 
So that is the basics. All right, so now the Golden Fluid Matte Medium. Um, this is, and it was luxurious, smooth, and it just has like a, a beautiful, um, it, it a little bit went a long way and it just felt so smooth. And this is called low gloss, but as you can see on this, I don't feel like it has much gloss to it at all. I felt like that's really a mat. And we went really thick on these tissues and it handled it beautifully and I have no lift off at all. On the book text, no lift off on the book text. And on the cardstock, no lift off at all. And I think, I mean, I can't see any shine to that. And that original cardstock had a bit of a sheen to it. And I don't think you can really see that on here. So I, I was pretty pleased with this golden. It's just so wonderful the feel of it but the ultra matte in liquitex and i definitely think it's matte but i don't ultra matte i don't know i don't know that it's any more matte than that maybe a little bit a little bit more matte uh no lift off this was already up i left that up um no lift off and it's pretty thick here we, i doubled that up on book text i have some lift up here but i can't feel the matte medium under so i think i missed putting it under there but again very matte and this was very thick a lot thicker so a little bit went a long way and this is where I noticed how matte it is because you can really see the kind of the sheen on this paper and you don't get any of that on here. None. And I had no lift up on this at all. And actually all you can feel it really well. It's definitely got a grit to it. So, I mean, if you're a fan of the thicker medi fluid medium um, and don't mind that the fact that it comes in, in a bucket and you'd have to scoop it out somehow to get it in anything to use to, I mean, I guess you could put it in a jar and then dip into it, but I don't like to do that with my fluid medium. I like to squeeze it out in larger quantities, but this a little bit goes a long way. So it's for the seven cent difference between these two, to be honest with you, I think I'm going to go with the golden. I just really like the thinness of it. So that means it would work well in this kind of bottle. I loved how just smooth and silk silky it was going down and it actually did better on cardstock than I anticipated so I could actually use it for more so I think this is my preference but you definitely need to make that decision based on what your needs are out of a fluid medium are you using it as a glue are you using it as an extender for your acrylic paints because um, that makes a big difference because don't forget fluid matte medium may be a glue but it, in mixed media world that's primarily what I, I traditionally know at least when you do a lot of collage that that's used for but it's also used as an extender for your um, acrylic paints so you can use it to loosen up your paints without losing your opacity or your stability of the paint. So it really depends on what you're using the fluid matte medium, but that in, that in a nutshell is kind of the 
run through of these at least fluid mediums i didn't find very many others on the market and that's why i got what i could find so i hope that you have found this information useful for you and your studio practices um, if you have enjoyed the mixed media basics series um, please let me know what you like about it if there's something you'd like me to review um, or demonstrate how it's used um, please let me know in the comments because I'm always looking for suggestions of new things to go through for mixed media basics um, but if you do enjoy the content that I have here please won't you consider subscribing to my channel thank you have a wonderful rest of your day Thank you.